about that funny. Well, okay, I'll look, but huh, I don't think I'll find a story. Hey, well, what do you know? There is a story about dust bunnies. It's called The Dust Bunnies Day Off. Huh. Well, it was a very special day after the big comfy couch. It was the Dust Bunny Day Off. Once upon a time, there were two little dust bunnies who lived under the couch. Their names were Fuzzy and Wuzzy. One day, a big gust of wind blew through the house and under the couch and blew the dust bunnies away. They were carried far and wide. Those dust bunnies sailed over the trees and over the rooftops. They floated on the wind all the way to Cloud Town. And that's when the breeze blew the dust bunnies through a window and right into Chez Poupée, the most fancy and snooty restaurant in all of Cloud Town. Fuzzy and Wuzzy landed with a dusty thump under one of the restaurant tables. Boy, oh boy, what a place. This restaurant was huge and full of clowns and full of food. Which is a good thing. These two dust bunnies were getting hungry. They checked under the tables. They dodged the feet of the servers. They even lounged around at the salad bar. But they didn't really like any of the food they found. It just wasn't dust bunny food. Fuzzy was growing faint with hunger. Wuzzy's stomach was making rude, gurgly noises. They were hungry bunnies. And that's when they saw the door to the kitchen. Quick as a wink, they ran inside and climbed up on the table. There on a plate was a fancy dish. It looked and smelled terrific. So Fuzzy and Wuzzy hunkered down and had themselves a feast. They ate the peas, they ate the squash, they even ate the beef. But suddenly it grew quite dark. What was going on? And then the lid was lifted. And that's when Fuzzy and Wuzzy found themselves sitting in the middle of a dining room table. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Eek! Shrieked the matron. Ye gods! cried the mayor. The major d apologized as he swept away the plate. And then he tossed the plate and the dust bunnies out the back door. Before they landed in the trash bin, another breeze came by. It grabbed Fuzzy and it grabbed Wuzzy and they began to fly over the rooftop, over the trees, back through the window. This time Fuzzy and Wuzzy Dust Bunny landed with a big fat bus because of all the food they'd eaten. But they didn't care. They were home safe and sound and ready for a snooze. And that's just what they did. The end.